This is Twit. Pixel time! Pixel party. Where should we start on the Pixel party? Well, You've had how long have you had your Pixel 2 XL? I've had my Pixel 2 XL, and apparently I have it in the other room, so I apologize. It's all right, I got mine. Um, probably about, I don't know, two and a half, three weeks now? Yeah, so I've had mine one week. So a couple of things to say. First of all, all the reviews talked a lot about two things, screen burn-in mm -hmm. and the LG panel. They said, eh, it's not as good as a Samsung panel. They're, remember, and Google said, okay, well, we're going to respond in two ways. One, we're going to extend the warranty to two years, yep. double it for free. Yep. And which is nice, nice to have a two year uh, warranty. Two, we're going to release an update, which they did yesterday, at least on my phone, okay. that fixes some of the problems. And I'm going to show you the biggest change in the update. It's in the display settings and under advanced. If you've got a Pixel phone, you should absolutely look at colors. They now have a setting for natural, which is how it came. And in fact, if I show you the natural, this is when I first saw your phone, I said, ooh, that's so washed out. Yeah. I wasn't, I thought, eh. They would say it's more natural. Uh, that's the word yeah, they use. You know, we, we get used to a, a more saturated display well, type it, with phones like Samsung. It's funny. Displays. That's what the thing is. I was comparing it to Samsung and the iPhone 10. Hit, if you hit saturated, it's so funny. It looks exactly like a Samsung phone. It is yeah. exactly as appealing to me as, uh, as the Samsung Note 8. Maybe not quite as good a screen, but a pretty darn good screen. Uh, it's very fast. It's, you know, it's got all the bells and whistles of all the high-end flagship phones like the Snapdragon 835 and all of that. And I think the screen is fine. I have not seen any burning in my week, and you haven't seen any in yours at all? You know, if I did, I wouldn't know how to, to find it. it. It hasn't appeared in, you know, while I'm watching video or anything like that, and there's never a time where I'm removing those navigation buttons to see, see what's I'm, behind them. This is where I want to... Uh, pick a little video, bit of a nit with uh, bloggers, uh, tech blog reviewers. Mm -hmm. First of all, they've got to get out there as fast as possible, right? They mm -hmm. often will do a review in one day. I, I love it that you aren't willing yet to say a verdict on the OnePlus 5T because you haven't had it long enough, right? No, what would I base it on? <laughs> but, but there's such competition among uh, tech bloggers that they often come out in a day or two. Yeah, because there's that rush to be the first, because if you're the first, people are still eager to find out about, you know, find out information, find content on that coverage. So if you're the first, you get those early visits. And yeah, and I don't think it's fair to, re to, to users because you're not really right. getting the experience. Right. So we, we buy our phones, both Jason and I bought our phones, and we use them for a week or two, and we really give you kind of an ongoing experience. I have to say, uh, the screen, it, maybe it's not quite as beautiful as the Note 8, which is the leader, or the iPhone 10, but it's more than adequate. And I love the pure Android. Notice, by the way, I'm using Action Launcher. I'm not using mm -hmm. the Pixel Launcher. But I, I love this phone. I think it's a great phone. I love the Panda, the black and white with the orange yeah, button. Yeah, that looks nice. I think it's nice styling. It's compared to just the all black, by the way, I do have. Thank you, Jerry. This nice it. metal soft touch finish yep, uh, feels is, nice. is robust. It means because it's metal there's no wireless charging i'm going to ding them for that and i'm sad to say there's no gosh darn it headphone jack <laughs> it does Living ship the dongle life it doesn't ship with type c headphones but it does ship with a type c dongle so right. you can use your headphones with it yeah uh and of course they're encouraging you used their their new bluetooth headphones the pixel buds we'll talk about that in a second just like iPhones encourage you to use AirPods. Right. So this has now become Apple and, you know, their thing and Google and their thing. Yep. I, I think compared to the iPhone 10, Google's fingerprint reader is more reliable. It works every time. I find that the face ID on the iPhone 10 sometimes doesn't work at night. It doesn't work in some of the situations I'm in. Mm -hmm. I find myself at least once a day entering the pin. The fingerprint reader is quick reliable and works every time. Plus, I can have somebody else's fingerprint on there, which mm -hmm. is nice for, you know, your spouse, for instance, if you right. want to give them access to your phone. Uh, that's a really nice feature. You can't do that with a Face ID. You have to, it's one person and one person only. You also get a little bit of swipeable actions on the fingerprint. Yeah. I don't know if you ever use that, but I, I don't, use but it it's, more and more. it's there. And since your finger naturally falls on that part of the phone when yeah. you pick it up, that's what I really like. I do about. like the squeeze feature. Let me, uh, Man, let me go Man, I back. cannot get into the squeeze feature. See, that's personal, right? I, you could turn it on or off. <laughs> the idea that you squeeze the bottom of the phone and that launches the assistant. And it's a very quick and easy thing to do uh, as you pull the phone out of the pocket. See, she's already listening to me, and if I had given her a command, uh, she would be doing something with it. Instead, instead of just say, transcribing what you're saying. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> Let's see what you what just the meant there. I don't know. I'm but it's up. just very natural if you have the phone in your pocket. And yeah. you, I'm sorry about all the rattling on the mic. And you pull it out. 
you've already squeezed it. It's kind of a natural I thing. So. I, I, well, I keep waiting for it to become second nature to me to right. do that. I'm sure at some point it will, because I know when, when you start getting into new ways, new... Um, you know, it's new, you got to learn new, it. Yeah, you have to learn it. You have to train yourself to think about assistant in this case as that being the way that you summon it. But I'm just so used to I'm just so used to the voice command. Yeah, you can still whatever, say the you know. okay, you know who. Yeah, not gonna not gonna. So I, I end up doing that, that more. Too. Yeah, um, but anyways, I love the always on display. This is something OLED screens mm -hmm. have had both on Samsung and other. Thing. Uh, by the way, it will show you notifications. I have that turned off, but it will show you notifications. It will it show my name and address on this. And this is a new feature which I really like. If you turn it on, it will identify any songs that are playing ambiently, and it works. It works so crazy well, almost to the point. So, so an app that I, I brought on the All About Android a few weeks ago is called Now Playing History, yeah. and it will keep a record of all the songs that ever identifies. That's cool. But here, let me play. Put yours down, and let me just see if it recognizes this song I'm playing here. Go ahead, while while we're listening okay. to the song. <laughs> and uh, a you don't have to do anything; it just does. Right oh, there, you go. See, see it, it recognized identified it. it down at the bottom. Is it right? Yep. Uh, Thunder, Thunder by Imagine Dragons. Yep. By Imagine Dragons. Isn't that cool? Yep. I now, love that. So, so there's an app that will keep track of everything you've heard? Called Now Playing History. You install it, it runs in the background, and it keeps a log of everything that this identifies. <laughs> now, this is what I find really interesting about this feature. I'm going to get thought that, that right now. So I know that this feature <laughs> has something to do with like a digital fingerprint, an audio fingerprint of right. music in its database. It's stored on the phone, so it recognizes. Right. Um, a friend or, or, or a friend of, of All Band Android, the show, uh, tweeted me to say that he went to a Lady Gaga concert. And at the end of the Lady Gaga concert, checked Now Playing History, and almost the entire set, the list, set list was logged there. And I don't know if that says something about Lady Gaga's live shows, about how they're you know very close to recorded, or whether That's this is just cool. really smart enough to figure it out. That but is really did. cool. Now Playing uh, History, I'm going to get I didn't. I didn't expect That's that. That's a minor thing, but it's kind of a neat thing, and I like yeah. it that it works. And how often are you somewhere where you go, I want to know, and you don't want to totally. put a phone out and do... You know, launch that you can do it with Assistant automatically, but I like it that it doesn't. Also helps you identify songs you really hate. Yeah, right. Never want like, to hear oh, that again. I, I like the uh, mostly bezel-less display, as you mentioned, and now has front-facing speakers. Yep. I gotta say, you heard it. it doesn't sound that good. In eh. fact, I wouldn't say it sounds any better coming out of the front than it sounds on the iPhone 10 coming yeah. out of the bottom in the front. So. Yeah, all phone speakers sound pretty tinny and crappy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, you're you're polishing up. <clears throat> some people, yes, that thing. Some people like it. If that's something you're looking for, it's got it. It's front facing, left and right speakers. And I guess when you're watching a movie, yeah, it's kind of nice. So you you know get stereo sound. It's nice, but at the same time, I've gotten really used to the bottom firing speakers because when I drive around, my stereo doesn't, stereo doesn't right. work. So I put it in my cup holder, and that bottom firing fires into the cup holder, and it makes it really loud. A uh, little tip for you. 835 Snapdragon, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gig or 128 gig storage. I find really 64 is enough unless you have a lot of music totally and pictures agree. on there. And let's talk about the screen, camera. Though. I think without a doubt this is the best camera phone on the market. Even though it only has one uh, sensor, it doesn't have the two lenses that a lot right. of other phones do. Google's using a new kind of there's there's some of your pictures a new kind yes, of um, by the way that's portrait portrait mode I'm seeing yeah a lot of them I, I use portrait mode and I look at that I, I've actually grown to really like the portrait mode on this device even though I know that it's purely like it's not using any extra camera well uh, but to, remember to pull that it can split the pixel it's using uh, dual pixel technology so it is getting a stereo picture and they are able with software look at that that yeah. is a fantastic picture yeah. The I'm, detail, I'm really happy with, with the, the detail. The way the, bo the bokeh, bokeh in the back has dropped out, even the selfie cam can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's and that's a big feature, I think. You yeah. know, a lot of people take pictures of themselves. I have to say, though, They're selfie included, cams apparently. are too, too good now. It's embarrassing. I'm going to smear Vaseline on my front <laughs> camera. Look at that. And then you got a little live photo action, right? Now, now Google can Google's camera on the Pixel is great because it's a great camera. It's also great because if you take a lot of pictures, you get some really cool features. You get those live photos, so and you get unlimited storage. A on couple Google of photos. frames before and after. Yes. 
Uh, and you get unlimited storage. Unlimited till, storage. Till, I saw it was like till 2022 or something. I'm yeah, now they're putting years. a date on it. Yeah. Uh, this was interesting. So I went, went to a concert last night. It was an acoustic set with a couple of artists that I really like. And uh, one thing that's also really great about this camera, the video camera, is the stabilization that it does. So, you know, I'm sitting in the chair. Wait a minute, this is handheld? This is handheld. It looks and like it looks a like it's on a tripod, right? So you just sit there, minor little adjustments here and there if you really move, but the software inside is adjusting it. It's probably cropping off a little bit of information in order to do it, but you end up with what looks like a tripod shot. Wow. For the full four and a half minutes. Wow. And it's a I, good song. Too. I love the quality of the camera. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's nothing much more to say about it yeah. except that this, in terms of, I think, in accuracy of color, uh, the dynamic range, the result, the, I call it, sometimes it's called the... Uh, the the uh, eye camera the picture IQ the the image quality I call it the likability I feel like these are really fat who's is this yours uh, yeah wow. it went, that's uh, a tough one that's in home. the dark yep. at night it was in the dark the sparklers um, and I think it did a pretty good job I'm very happy with this camera I think yeah, the images are, are fantastic so um, what else can we say about this the battery life I'm consistently Great. going to bed with thirty or forty percent and you're getting better battery life on the two XL than you would on the two. Uh, it's a, it's okay. a larger it's a battery. battery. It's, yeah, yeah, bigger battery. Um, so it's definitely the choice if that's a big importance to you. 35, 20 milliamp hour battery. Um, yeah, I think this is, a, it's at 66 percent now, but I'll have no problem getting through the rest of the day. Yeah. Uh, I would say 18 or 19 hours pretty consistently. And the way I use it, your mileage may vary. It is, um, it is a, a six inch uh, P OLED, which is an LG OLED. Uh, quad HD 2880 by 1440. That's good battery life for such a high resolution screen. Mm -hmm. um, anything else we want to say about it? I think this is a great uh, phone. I'm, I'm, if you need an Android phone, I would say go with Google only because you're guaranteed that the updates and Google yeah. has announced that they're going to do that for at least three years. I have a feeling people are going to be a little gun shy if they follow, you know, a lot of the tech blogs and, and this network, especially because of the display. There's been a lot of hoo-ha around the display. It's worth it to just get it and see how you feel about it, right? Live with it for a week. You've got a return policy if you drop, buy directly from Google. There's no reason not to. I feel like the, the benefits far is, outweigh any of the drawbacks, and I've gotten really used to the display. I think it doesn't bug fabulous, me at all. Fabulous, fabulous display. I, I yeah. couldn't tell you. I can't tell you how happy I am with this. Is I, I, was, I was worried going in, and I'm happy. If that you I'm turn that saturated, if you yeah. want it to look like a note, you turn the saturated setting on, and that's an update that just came out, uh, I think you're going to be very happy. And I don't yeah. see any burn-in. I don't know what the burn-in people are talking about. There is one thing everybody should be aware of, and this is an OLED issue that uh, others have complained about. If you do off-angle viewing on these screens, they yes. turn they tend to turn blue. You're not going to see a big that's difference. That's a blue background. Yeah, blue but background. if you pull your after aura up, that might be a good indicator. That's, if a, it's that's white. gray. Oh, I see. In my that's case, quite. but uh, here I might be able to show you with mine. I see. Uh, I, uh, here we go. Here's a here's a white. So watch. So it's it's white when it's well, even that looks a little bluish. <laughs> and then as you tilt it up a little bit, you yeah, see you get that blue. That view. doesn't bother me. That's off-axis viewing. Remember yeah. the LC, the TFT LCDs? You couldn't see, you couldn't even see them, and they got FXs. It doesn't bother me in use. In principle, it kind of does, only because these are expensive phones. And All I feel OLEDs like that's, do that. All OLEDs do that a little bit. Sometimes I feel like you don't see it even, as much as you do here. Even the iPhone 10, even on the iPhone 10, a little bit. Yeah. Although this is the best screen I've ever seen, but that's another matter. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's the Pixel 2 XL. In my opinion, high recommendation yeah, if you're I, looking I for an Android phone. Completely agree.